Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. Now, this 100% needs to be talked about. Let me show you two videos on why Xuan Pin is so freaking broken. Like, just take a look at this video, right, by Sebastian. Okay, let's watch what happens here. One shot! The steward one shotted the APAP. One shot! So what buffs does the steward have over here, right? He has the chariot, he has the cannon itself, and he has Koharu's buff and a lot of other stuff. And Ethan's magic tune as well. So there is a lot jam packed into this, but you can potentially just one-shot APEP and this is going to be a very big issue moving forward where we have more PvE content where we are trying to balance things out and at the same time there's just going to be one single Shuen Pin who is going to dominate everything right as long as you get a Shuen Pin you're going to dominate a lot of PvE content in this game you're going to be able to one-shot so many stuff deal insane absurd amount of damage that most other players will never be able to, uh, to even grasp and there is another clip over here so this is going to be Kronos and she is going to be broken in this content as well take a look so same buffs on, okay, relatively same buffs on the Ollie. He did a freaking, how much is that? Almost 600,000 damage in one single hit. That is insane. That is so crazy. And he's not even using Koharu over here. So I'm just trying to get to the point where this is not good for the game moving forward. This is extremely bad for the game moving forward. Now, the thing is, this is very different from Nusi, okay? I, I feel like they are both really good. They are both top tier, but they are both different. So you cannot say that one is better than the other, but... Nusi, while she is broken, she's not completely unstoppable. But for Shrempin, she is completely, completely, utterly unstoppable. Her third skill itself is so strong. It gives you the horse buff, it gives you the attack up buff, it increases your soldier whatever, right? Your soldier stacks. And I mean, he has like mist rate up, he has true damage and a lot of other stuff into that skill as well. But for the most part, the third skill in itself is so freaking strong. And then we talk about her second skill. Let's take a look at what her second skill does again. Like this is what her second skill does and it has a three turns cooldown. Mind you, three turns on this skill. It has an AOE defense break. It has an AOE shield strip. It has a 100% AB push on any one of your allies and it gives that ally cannon which ignores defense. There is so much jam packed into this skill and it's so spammable just because the cooldown is 3 turns. So you can imagine that like, you give the ocean set to her. She can keep proccing her second skill and it's going to be super easy for you to clear like a lot of content. And I have no issue with destroying Apex, smashing Kronos, you know, just exploding Fafnir. I don't care. That is cool. That is still fine. But when it comes to the point of using Shen Pin to dominate leaderboard content, like for example, right now we have the Celestial Anomaly, which I, I'm not going to talk about because apparently there are some bugs in this content right now. So imagine you use Shen Pin in the Chimera. You're going to steal the score so much, right? So let's take a look at the leaderboard right now. There are some players in this game right now with an insane amount of score. And I can guarantee you that the team that they used must have had Shen Pin involved as well. Like the damage that she can provide to your team is insane. It is way too much. And this is going to damage the leaderboard. And the thing is, she is completely willable. It's not like you have to go through a lot of RNG just to get her. It's not the case at all. Because right now in the Echo, we will see that the current Shimmer banner has actually Shen Pin involved. And the thing is, even if you fail to get her after summoning a uh, hundred times, right? And there is like a 50% chance that you can get her, but yet you still fail. You can re-summon again another hundred Shimmer records and you will guarantee Xuan Pin. You will guarantee her in 200 summons at most. Do you think 200 Shimmer records are impossible to obtain? Even for a will, you are completely and utterly wrong. Let me show you. If you go to the plaza right now, right, there are a lot of packs that you can buy every single week that will give you the currency that you need, you know, to get Xuan Pin almost guaranteed. And if you're a will, you're instantly going to get her for free and you're going to be able to abuse her in many different content. So like, for example, if you go to, uh, I guess, Rift packs, we have 10 Shimmer records here. And if you go to the limited portion here, you will see that there are many Shimmer Record Packs. Okay, so there is one over here. You can buy 10. Okay, that's odd. But the thing is, if we go on to the, the actual server itself, our main server, you will notice that there are a lot of Shimmer Records right now. There is a lot in the shop. So I'm currently on the main global server itself. Let's go to the plaza. Not the Echo, what the heck? Now let's take a look at all the Shimmer Records that you can buy in the limited shop in the plaza itself. Take a look at this, all of these, right? All of these. So there is 10 over here for 100 US dollars. There is 25 over here for another 100 US dollars. There is 70, 70 over here for 100 US dollars. And there is 30 times seven, which is 210 Shimmer Records, $100 each time. Crazy shit, you can buy so many Shimmer Records and I can guarantee you that this is going to channel all the money right now before these packs go away. Now the thing is, I have no issue if people pay to win in PvP because PvP is supposed to be pay to win. Whoever has the most money, you are going to win because you're going to get more resos, you're going to get more stamina packs, you're going to get more nexus crystals for more summons and whatnot, right? All that kind of stuff. You can use money to buy victories. 
It sucks, but this is the gacha methodology. But my problem with Shen Pin right now is that she is going to obliterate PvE content, leaderboard content. And that sucks a lot because PvE content, for the most part, should remain pretty much free to play friendly in a way. Like, let's say if you go to the anomaly once again, right? And let's take a look at the rewards that you get uh, on a weekly or bi weekly basis. Okay, I think it's like a weekly basis. So, every single week, oh, sorry, every three weeks, the top players will get two shimmer records, and the top players in your group will get three gold records plus two more of these, like every single week, I think. And this is so crazy because they're gonna get so much more of a hit style, so much more of an advantage, especially that shimmer record fragment over here. So for the mere fact that you can actually buy one single Esper that unlocks so much potential in your PvE output and your PvP output and everything in the game, right? That to me is completely unfair, I think. And I, I do feel like Xuan Pin needs to be nerfed before she drops life in the global server. If not, the moment she drops life, there is no way that you can nerf her anymore because people will be spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just to obtain her and if you drop her at her current state right now, which is like completely broken, completely unhinged, then too bad, there is no turning back. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below about how you feel about Shen Pin. I feel like she's completely busted. I am still going to try to get her. There's a 50% chance that I'm going to get her. There's a 50% chance that I'm going to get a Tether. Hopefully, I get Tether so that I cannot abuse her. If not, then good luck to all of you guys because I will abuse her if I do get her. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video and hopefully they wake the hell up real quick.